So the first thing, listen, we haven't sat down in a while and just chatted about products that have just been wowing me and products that have not worked for me. Now, let's remember, we're all different. We're all on a different makeup journey. If you see something here and you absolutely love it, I do not want you to think for one second that, oh no, maybe this isn't good. It's good, you know why it's good? It's because it's working for you. So the first thing I'm gonna show y'all, I, I can't put this down, I can't. I love it, I love wearing it alone, and then I even like layering a couple shadows on top of it, and it's this About Face Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Capulet. I honestly, I wanna use, I'm probably gonna get off because I'm gonna film some more stuff once I'm done here. Um, I love doing these because it's kind of a, of a refresher and they're so much fun, but I don't do makeup with these, but I'm still gonna film makeup tutorials and I will find a way to incorporate this. I will say when you apply this, do not apply any kind of primer underneath. It does not need a primer. That's gonna change the formula and it will crease. Just wear this alone. It is the most gorgeous shade. It's gorgeous. These have, They've left me inspired. Just <laughs> there. Just absolutely inspired the quality, the pigment, and even how small they are. I love how small and thin they are because they just, they're not clunky and chunky. And I just, I love them. They're fantastic. Everything about them, I'm going to link a TikTok. It's a very long TikTok, so I can't post it on IG. But if you want, you can just tap that link to go watch it. And I do an ombre uh, rainbow wing. And I use this palette right here. This is the neon one. I love them. And you're gonna be seeing these nonstop. I already used the pastel check yesterday's tutorial. You'll see that mint color there. I love these. I love them so much and I highly recommend them. I found a bronzer that I like more than the Gucci bronzer. I didn't think we were gonna do it, but we did it. This Mob Beauty M36, let me double check that. M36 is the most beautiful red bronzer. If you are into red bronzers, this is the red bronzer. The formula, everything about it, and it's unscented, and it's so much more affordable than the Gucci. And I feel like a little bit goes a long way. It's gonna last you. It's refillable. It's just everything that we need. I can't put it down, it's all I've been using. I will do a comparison to the Gucci. Um, did I mention this one's unscented? The Gucci is heavily scented, so if you don't like scents, this one is gonna be for you. Keep in mind, if you already have the Gucci, you have that one. But if you didn't purchase that one, this one. And if you used all of your Gucci one, get this one. If y'all have not tried the new formula of Makeup Forever Powder Foundation, you're missing out. I love this one so much. I used, look. Also, I want you to know that it will last a long time, but I use this two and three times a day. So I'm already hitting pan. But that's just, it's how much I love it. I use it for everything. I use it to fix things. I wear it alone. I wear it on top of foundation for more coverage. It's, it's so good. It's, it, I love it. I actually have another backup already. I just checked, I was like, Am I gonna have enough of this? Because I will go buy more. This is something I will be repurchasing. This is my favorite full coverage, medium to full coverage. This is this can be full coverage, but this one's my favorite when it comes to that category. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about, now I'm not gonna tell y'all I'm oily. I'm balanced, I'm balanced to dry, but I live in a very humid climate. That means when I go outside, I get extra shiny. And then if I'm outside for even 30 minutes, I'm a big shine ball. This, this has been working for me and I just think it's fantastic. Plus it has the BHAs, which keep your pores cleaner, which makes them look smaller. Doesn't shrink them. Just makes them look smaller because they're so nice and clean. Mm-hmm. And I've been using this, I've been using this for a long, long time, way before it came out, and I just think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna put on a little bit. It's really important for you to see how much I put on, because I'm only putting this in the center of my face. So I'll take that, and then this one works best if you kind of spread it out pretty quickly, because it does dry. It's important to know how to put it on, so the center is where I get shiny. Okay, now it's where we want it. Now to start pressing it until it completely dries. I ran out of time, but just press it, press it into the skin. And I did a wear test. 
it was an ad. We know that doesn't matter here. Um, but I did one and I did a wear test and I didn't even set it. And you can go see those results. It's pretty wild. This stuff works. It's amazing. It's a 10 out of a 10. Now, obviously nothing is super magical. Your pores don't just magically disappear, but it really does help. And it pairs beautifully with makeup. And then the VHA over time does help. Now I just sit here and I'm gonna look around. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's over here? Um, no, haven't tried that yet. Not sure if I love that yet. Let me look a little bit more. Okay, we might switch back to things that I really enjoy, but I'm gonna show y'all something that did not work for me. Does not mean it doesn't work for you. And we do not bash things here because everyone is so different. But for me, this, I bought this too. This was, uh, this was feral on me. Um, it, it didn't blur. It, it didn't lay on my skin properly. And I think that might be the blurring. Um, it kind of makes it sit up a little too high. It kind of reminds me of the texture of the marshmallow primer, which I didn't enjoy either. Uh, this marshmallowy puffy texture just kind of sits on top of my skin. It doesn't melt in the way that I'm used to complexion products. It didn't wear well on me and I'm, I'm balanced to dry. So I think on oily skin, uh, this might not be the one. Also want to mention that this is from the Bear With Me line and they had the Bear With Me concealer and I didn't enjoy that one either at all. So this line, this Bear With Me just is not the one for me. It didn't, it didn't work out. I wanted this to work because I was very excited and I saw some really nice um, tutorials using it. I was very excited. So I went and purchased it and it was just, this is no, is a no for me. <laughs> oh, I'm back to things that I love and it's the lipsticks and lip glosses from Jean-Luc Cosmetics. Where's my, this is my lip, but yes, skin tight. And then this is on top. I know you're thinking mm, liquid lipsticks. These are, are different. The formula is different. It's beautiful. I love the colors. Um, I love the way it wears. I love the way the lip liner pairs with the liquid lipstick. It feels so comfortable. I It's a 10 out of a 10 for me. And I just, I've really fallen in love with these lip products. Now, another thing that just didn't make my makeup heart sing, and I'm seeing them everywhere, are these NYX, the fat oils, they're just, they're not, they're just okay. My favorite though was the ones from Milani. Let me see if I can find one. Honestly, it just, I don't know. I feel like there are other products that, that are even in this price range. I'm not trying to tell you to go buy the Dior winner. <laughs> but they just, they didn't do it for me. They didn't do it. But I'm gonna show you ones that, that do it for me. Mm. Now these. These are quite spectacular. I even, I just, I like everything about them. And I feel like they're shinier, but then that's not sticky. Mm -mm. There's no, I don't know what, I don't know what they did. I don't know what happened. Plus you get a little bit more color. That is, that's the spice. I, I can't, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wish you could feel it. It literally feels like nothing. And it's still, but you have that hydration. It's what your lips want to feel like, but never sticky. Um, they do have a nice fruity scent, but they're not as fruity as the Milani ones. These are a 10 out of a 10. I need to try this color next. I just know that's gonna be stunning. So we're gonna try these out. These are gorgeous and I, I love them. I love, love, love. So that's everything I've been loving and things that I just could not get to work. And you might notice that there's not a lot I dislike and that's because I've been on a makeup journey for quite some time, so I understand how the formulas work, um, how quickly they dry, what pairs nicely with them, even what tool to use, even how to press. So you're not gonna see a lot of products that I dislike because I've, I've tried a lot and I understand formulas. I understand how to work with that formula. And that's something I try to do for y'all. I try to um, teach y'all. We can make it work for, for 90% of the time, we can make it work. While I'm thinking of it, let me give you a tip. This is a huge tip. One of the most complained about products I get, uh, or I hear about from all of you, is sticky primers. And sticky primers are actually fantastic, but what you need to know about them is that you need to use half 
of what you're using, maybe even just a quarter, because a little bit goes such a long way. I've seen, when I first started, and before I knew, and before I understood formulas, I used to be like, one, two, three. Oh yeah, that's great. I would put it on and then my makeup would not wear the way that it could wear. So when it comes to anything super sticky, because I know that e.l.f. one's going viral again, anything like that, use half of it, or even use a quarter. Just use the tiniest amount. Always remember, it's better to build than it is to put too much on. And those tacky primers are absolutely feral. They're wonderful, but they get feral. Use just a little bit. Now, I do want to say some formulas just don't work for everyone. We understand that. I, that happens to me sometimes, but I don't give up after the first try. Try something at least three times before you go, this is not it. Because so many things factor in. Um, you just, even the weather that day and the way you applied it, how dirty your brush was, there's just so many different factors, but that's what I'm here for. I'm here to keep reminding you and I'm here to just root for you. I'm on your side. All right. I just had a fun idea for an eye look. I'm going to go film that. I love you all so much and I enjoy doing these. I know that they're not as fun as the makeup tutorials, but I think that they're needed and y'all always want to know what I'm absolutely loving. So there you have it. I love you all so much. Don't know what I'm posting, but you better believe I'm posting at 7 p.m. Central tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll see you there. Blue lipstick and why?